DOJ intervened in two federal uh, abortion-related cases. D would you personally like to see Roe versus Wade overturned, General? I, I you personally, yes. I, I am a pro-life person. Um, as you may know, I have two adopted daughters who um, are, are, are examples of, of the courage of two 18-year-old young women who chose to give their daughter's life and give my, my wife and I a family that we couldn't have on our own. Um, so I'm, I'm a pro-life person. But this is a question of, this is a question of law. I'm, I'm not imposing my personal will on the state on this. Should a Denver baker have a right to not make a wedding cake for a same-sex couple? I, my belief is that the First Amendment provides that right to Jack Phillips. While the courts made clear that same-sex couples have the right to have their marriage recognized, um, this is a different question because now you're talking about can they take their right to be married and now infringe on the legitimate religious liberty beliefs or rights of a person who, who is an artist. How did we do with the war on opiate addiction, heroin addiction, with fentanyl this year? Did we make progress or not so much? Well, I'm going to say one thing. I'm very uncomfortable calling it a war. In our struggle with this challenge, um, I'm spending a lot more time using, using weapons that don't involve guns or handcuffs. We're spending a lot more effort on pre prevention and treatment. Well, do you anticipate at some point a settlement with Big Pharma similar to the settlement with Big Tobacco? It's way too soon to say. And that's what the 41 states working together are doing on this. If it goes the litigation route, estimates are you're looking at eight to 12 years. years. If we haven't done something to make a dramatic impact on this opiate epidemic by eight years from now, half our state's gonna be dead.